Before the Odessa gunman went on a rampage that left seven dead, he failed a federal gun background check. But because of a loophole in the system, he was kept off the radar of local law enforcement. Well, tonight, an I team investigation has discovered he is not the only one slipping through the cracks. Investigative reporter Brian Yu joining us now in studio with a look at this investigation and what he found. Yeah, Ken, so whenever you go into a gun store to buy a gun, you first have to fill out one of these forms. It's a 44 ATF, 4473 ATF form. It's basically a gun background check. And every year, tens of thousands of people fail this background check. Some because they lie about their criminal record. Others because they lie about their mental health. It's a felony to lie on this form, punishable by up to 10 years in prison. But our investigation found in the past five years, among the thousands who lied, here in the northern Texas district, only nine people were ever prosecuted. Of course, the obvious question then is why so few? Yeah, so there, there's a couple reasons. One is that the ATF doesn't have the manpower to investigate every application that's denied. So what about local law enforcement? Well, we found there's a loophole in the system where local law enforcement here in Texas is rarely even notified when someone lies to try to buy a gun. And here's the concern. Study shows those who are willing to lie to try and buy a gun often commit violent acts in the future. Now, tonight at 10, we'll hear from a gun store owner who says when a criminal walks into his store and tries to buy a gun, he's doing his job, but says the government is failing to do theirs. All right, Brian, we're looking forward to that story. Thank you very much.